Good morning, thank you very much for joining me. Today is my monthly over 50 beauty video and today we are talking eyelashes. Now, as we get older, our eyelashes do... <laughs> But let me just say, before I start, that I've got all my makeup on, apart from mascara, so you probably can't even see my eyelashes. Um, I always think mascara does a good job of framing the eyes, doesn't it? And my eyes feel pretty unframed right at the moment. And they're also watering badly for some reason. I do not know why. Um, they haven't been doing that so much recently, but today they've chosen to do so, which is probably not a good start, is it? Got to admit, not feeling very confident about making this video but yeah as we get older our eyelashes don't grow as much as they used to and I've talked before about this product which I buy from Amazon and I use I don't use it all the time I use it intermittently it's called rapid lash and it is really good lash growth serum you just do one swipe of it along your top lash line and one swipe along the bottom lash line in the evening when you do your evening skincare routine and um, it really does help grow my eyelashes I, I don't use it all the time because I feel like it's not great to use it all the time so I'll tend to use it for maybe a month to six weeks and then have a month to six weeks off and then when I notice my eyelashes are getting shorter again I'll start again. This tube I would say has lasted me about a year and a half it's absolutely brilliant lasts for ages so um, I'll get this on Amazon I'll link it in the description box below anyway in case you're interested in looking at that. Um, but what we're talking about today is false eyelashes. Now my all the youngsters wear false eyelashes don't they and look fab but um my experience of trying false eyelashes hasn't been great i have tried them i want to be able to wear them but i'm just not good with them and um, i think i've worn them successfully once and that was about 12 years ago to a cocktail party and i've never managed it again since i get so frustrated with trying to put them on and the glue and it's all messy and yeah just it, they just don't work for me at all I'm, I'm guessing it's one of those things that you have to practice a lot and then perhaps you get better at it but I haven't practiced enough obviously but um when I saw these magnetic eyelashes had come out I was quite interested in them and they're all over the Facebook ads um about a year or so ago was it maybe a little bit more and I was very tempted to buy some and I didn't but on a recent trip fairly recent trip to Bristol with Carla and Lex we went to TK Maxx and I spent quite a long time in the beauty section of TK Maxx and Carla bought some of the magnetic eyelashes which have one strip of eyelash above that goes above your own eyelash and one that goes below and they clamp together and they sound so good don't they and they sound so simple anyway Carla tried to put them on I think it's in one of her vlogs and they were an abject fail I asked her again recently we, we, we did it in the car so to be fair it wasn't the best conditions but I couldn't get them on her she couldn't get them on her and um they weren't great and I asked her recently if she tried them again and she said she hadn't um, when I was talking to her about making this video and uh, so they weren't a great huge success as far as Carla was concerned I have to say they didn't I, I felt when I was trying to put them on her that it was just they didn't seem as easy as they would have you believe anyway I recently came across these these are made by Fuera, which is the same, sorry, you've got a bit of reflection there, haven't you? Which is um, the same company that I've tried the foundation from recently. If you haven't seen that video, I will link up there. But because the foundation was so good, I really, really loved it. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, I was quite interested that these magnetic lashes were made by Fuera, the same brand. Um, and these come with magnetic liquid liner. So the idea is that you put a line of the liquid liner on which I'm not very good at either <laughs> so before we even get to the lashes liquid liner and I are not friends and then the lashes magnetized to it I thought this was good uh, these were only 6 99 I got them on eBay and they come with the lashes the liquid liner which is in a box and looks like that and also a handy little tool to attach eyelash to eye eyelid eyelash eyelash to eyelash i don't know anyway um that yeah 6.99 so i thought it was worth giving it a go now the lashes came in three different types there was classic which i went for um sassy and dramatic so i thought classic 
would be more suitable for someone of my great age rather than dramatic or sassy and a classic felt like a good place to start but they look really long and spiky don't they I was a bit taken aback when they arrived so um I might have to trim them I don't know um we'll see how we get on but I thought I would film me trying show you how good time to put them on show you how good or not they are i have watched a couple of videos of other people doing it and um i'm not going to lie not confident that i'm going to do very well at this but um let's give it a go anyway <laughs> So it tells you on the back of the box that you have five magnets on each lash, lash for secure all day wear. They are reusable up to 30 times wind resistant. <laughs> if I go out in a gale, I'll probably be grateful for that. And easy removal. And then it gives you some instructions on the... Um, lash liner it says that it's um the easiest way to wear magnetic lashes for a magnetic liquid eyeliner is waterproof smudge proof latex free and magnetic it glides on smooth and stays on there is no running fading or flaking that sounds bloody marvellous, doesn't it? So, wear a luxurious lashes look and feel like full, beautiful, natural lashes. These synthetic lashes are easy to apply, glue-free and comfortable. So, number one, apply Fuera Magnetic Eyeliner as your regular eyeliner. Two, add a second coat. This is an important step. Three, wait a minute or two for the magnetic eyeliner to become dry. Liner must be dry to magnetise the lash magnets. Starting with the inner corner, gently hold lashes to eye. Lash will jump to the magnetic liner. Jump, it will. <laughs> um, place the rest of the lash onto the liner. Right, my first issue is I feel like these are going to be too long for my eyes. I very often find that um, fake eyelashes are too long for my eyes and they do look rather long so i've taken one off and i'm going to just get the tool the handy tool and sort of measure it along my eye line um the top of my eye can't even get the tool out of the packet it's not a good start is it oh dear so you get your tool and you hold your eyelash i need feel like i need my glasses on for this and you can't really wear glasses and apply magnetic eyeliner eyelashes can you um all oh right so i see the um it, you, i don't know if you'll be able to see there's five little magnets along there along the top of the lash there um right okay so let's just i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this either because obviously i've got to have the mirror here because i was debating whether to cut off the last magnet and use it you know a little bit shorter mostly on the outer corner of my eye i think maybe we'll try to start with with the whole thing and see how we get on right i'm going in with the magnetic eyeliner wish me luck also first time i opened this i opened it the wrong way because you assume the shorter bit is going to be the lid but apparently not so let's have a go with this oh the brush look brush looks as though it's curved at the end that's a bit off-putting I wonder if it's meant to be. Can you see that? Right. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. That curvy bit is really putting me off. Right, that eye wasn't too difficult to put on. Um, that felt okay. I don't know if I've put enough on there. I wasn't particularly generous with it, but I didn't want to make a huge mess. So um, let's try the other eye, which is always my worst one. That's not a good start. It's a disaster. It really is. And that, boys and girls, is why I don't wear liquid eyeliner. You see, the left-hand side, I've done fine. That one, not so much. Um, I'm thinking the band might cover that up, actually. It's not too bad. Um... <laughs> not too bad it's bloody awful but hey that's the first layer on so to speak um so i'll wait for that to dry and do a second layer right i've got both my lines done um this one is more messy than that one i'm left-handed so i find it easier to do that one but it was 
not too bad to use. I didn't find it horribly difficult, which is good. Um, just letting it dry off now, and then we're going to attempt to put one of the eyelashes on. But right, so that's like that, and it says start with the inner corner. So. I didn't feel any jumping as such. I mean, it is sort of, God, it's long, bloody hell. <laughs> like a donkey or a camel. Those are ridiculously long. Um, this inner corner doesn't seem to have gone in properly. God, that's most bizarre. Has that magnetised? Oh, it, it doesn't feel as though it's... I mean, it looks... Let me just look into the 10 times magnifier. Well, that doesn't look bad. And in actual fact, lengthwise along my eye, that's okay. Um, but the actual lashes are way, way, way too long. I feel like they're really, they're so fake looking, so fake looking, but I feel like I could cut them down, maybe. Um, they've gone on a lot better than I thought. This, is that? Oh, hang on. No, they're not as well attached as I thought. No, that inner corner keeps coming up. Oh, there's not enough. Oh, it looks like the, hang on. I feel like maybe I didn't let the liner dry for long enough on that side. Um, right, let's try with the other one. And that the line is thicker on this side as well. God, that's hard to put on. How, I think I'll entitle this video, how not to put on magnetic lashes. There's certainly no feeling of it jumping to attach itself, I have to say. Um, no, that's not attached at all on this end. No, it's not even sitting down on the line, not at all. pissed off about I've got to go and redo all my makeup after this day Barkle because I've got another video to film <laughs> oh god um well that is not joined up on this corner at all I can't see how well you can see this but it's not sitting it does seem to be attached on the inner corner more so but sort of the middle onwards it's just floating in the air I don't know if you can see that um I think I'm going to have another go. That I feel like they're too long. I'm going to trim them down. I'm going to put another line of liner on because I feel like they maybe need a bit more magnetising. I mean, they kind of work. And I'm going to trim them down because they're ridiculously long. Um, I do look like a camel. So <laughs> I will be back in a minute when I've done all that. I look quite bizarre. I think I look more bizarre in the mirror because I'm looking up to you rather than down into the mirror. Um, I think I look more bizarre in the mirror than I probably do in the camera. Um, let me try and put you straight. Right, another layer um, of the eyeliner definitely made the difference in terms of I could feel them when I put them on this time actually magnetising to the um, eyeliner so that was good and they appear to be sitting at both ends um, onto the actual magnets they feel a bit more comfortable they feel stable so that's good the actual eyelashes themselves I think are what the problem is I've trimmed them right down because they were so ridiculously long and because of that they aren't flicking upwards at the end and um, look at the stay of my fingers I'm covered in, in magnetic eyeliner um, yeah, they, they're sort of very straight now rather than flipping up at the ends. So they they look quite odd. Um, yeah, odder than, uh, certainly not 
that they're not the eyelashes that I like. I've got some eyelashes that I bought from Amazon that I use glue with that I've tried occasionally over the years and they're much more wispy and much more suitable for somebody of my age I would say and natural looking these look like great big huge galumphing um I don't know Kim Kardashian style <laughs> lashes she'd probably be horrified if she heard me say that um, I'm sure she doesn't watch my videos though so she would probably be all right on that front um so a roundup of how it's gone I, I feel like with practice I would get better at the eyeliner I also think it doesn't matter if your line isn't absolutely perfect I mean mine are shockingly bad sorry I've got a runny nose um I feel like it doesn't matter if your line isn't absolutely perfect because you're going to be covering it up with the magnety bit of the eyelash anyway so I think that's good I could definitely with three coats of the eyeliner I could definitely feel them magnetizing so I think efficiency wise I think they're pretty good I think you could get away with that for an evening they're sitting nicely on the magnets now um that they feel quite secure um the actual eyelashes themselves I don't like I don't think they're suitable for someone of my age um and I think if I could find some magnetic lashes that were more wispy and natural looking I'd definitely give this another go um I quite enjoyed just playing with it I thought it was quite fun but um yeah these ones probably not for me but um the actual usage I think I'd get better at it and I think that it does actually work the whole magnetic thing they're definitely easier than the sandwiching together magnetic ones so yeah right I'm going to go and take this off and do my eyes again, ready for my next video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, I will link this below and I'll also link below the rapid lash that I use to grow my own lashes. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these or if you've found, if, also if you know of any more natural looking magnetic lashes that work with the magnetic liner and because um, I'd like to give those a go. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.